hi art students it's time for another art video and i just want to say um soon we'll be going back to school so that's pretty exciting i'll see uh all of you or most of you uh at school and we can do art work there and that'll be a lot of fun uh, we'll be able to do some more kind of messy projects because um you know we'll be in the art room and We'll be able to clean up and stuff like that. So I look, I really look forward to that. I look forward to seeing you. If I don't see you, if you're going to stay remote at home, then I'll still make some videos. So you'll be able to just uh, tune in every week. And the, the art projects might be a little different. I might do something a little different for students at home. But um, that's fine. So you'll just be able to tune in and um, check out those videos. Also, um, I just want to say, because we're going back to school, um, I, I want this to be the last Godzilla of the week because I'm, well, we're going back to school. Most of us are going back to school. And also, I'm running out of Godzillas to show you. I don't, I don't really have very many more to show. <laughs> I'm kind of running out. So that's kind of coming to an end. So this will be our last Godzilla of the week, and uh, that was fun. So, but we, I guess we've got to move on. Got to move on. And you can just watch Godzilla vs. King Kong when it comes out in the movie theater if your parents let you. It should be. I don't know if it's rated too high or whatever, but I'm sure hopefully you'll all get to see it if you want to see it. So anyways, it looks pretty good. So, but that's it. That's it for Godzilla of the Week. So anyways, I'm going to show you our final Godzilla. Okay, so here it is. Here it is. So this is King Caesar. He's... Um, He's from Godzilla vs. Uh, Mechagodzilla, the original, like from 1975. So it's an old movie. And he's like a, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's like, you know, like in Chinese temples, they've got these like dragon dogs at the front of the temple and they kind of guard the temple. I think he's one of those. Like he was like a statue of one of those um kind of dragon, I don't know if he's a dog, or he's you're like a dragon dog. I don't know what exactly they are, but he, I think he's one of them, and he uh, he comes alive, and he fights Godzilla and Mechagodzilla, and he's pretty cool. So this is King Caesar. He's got that crazy tail. He's a toy. This is a toy. He's a pretty good, he's a pretty well-painted toy, so he's pretty cool. Um, so that's King Caesar. So that's it. That's it for Godzilla of the Week. Um, well, let's get on to the art portion of the video. This will be good. This is good practice. And again, it's also kind of building up to our um, still life. So, okay, here we go. So here's what we're going to do. You want to find, um, you got to get a piece of blank paper. Blank paper. Copy paper works good. So if you have a, or, or just any kind of blank paper. If you have like a sketchbook, then use a sketchbook. But if you just have blank paper, um, that's fine. If you have a sketchbook, do that. I have extra paper, so I don't need all these other papers. That's for my other class. Then you want to get you want to get two pencils, two number two pencils. Now we're going to draw with one. We're going to draw with one, and then the other one we're actually going to draw. Okay? You're like, what? Yeah. So we're actually we're going to draw the tip of that pencil, and we're going to shade it. Now, when you get your number, these are pretty common around the house. Hopefully you have one. Don't get a round one. You'll notice that this one has like beveled edges. It has like these. It's kind of like what is it? A hexagon? Looks like it's a hexagon. So it, it has these kind of beveled edges. Gosh, focus. Um, so that's what you want to get. You want to get this, uh, a beveled one. Now, if you only have one beveled one, that's fine. Um, that's the one you're going to draw. If you have like a round one, you can draw with a round one. If it's round, sometimes they're rounded, right? But if you have one that has the beveled edge, then um, that's the one you're going to draw, okay? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a, uh, a value chart, a five value chart, not a nine. So we're going to just draw a box kind of like here. Let's see. how. how let's not make it too big. I'm going to be merciful to you. <laughs> I'm healing, right? Actually, I'm not healing yet. I'm uh, This is b beforehand, but, in, you know, I'm healing, so let's take it easy. So it's just a small, like how big is that? I don't know. It's about that big. And we're going to do our values in here. We're going to do five values. Now the first, let's see, when we do values, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I can't, I can't just cut it in half. Well, you know what we could do? Let's, let's do it like this. This will be easier. Let's cut it in half. This will only give us four. We'll cut it in half. 
and then we'll cut each one of these in half. This will give us four. And then let's just add, let's just add a box that's about the same size. It's hard to divide it by five, but we, it was easy to divide it by four. So I did like one line in the middle, divided those two boxes, so I got four, and then I just added a box. Okay, so I've shown you this before, um, but in a value scale, it goes from light to dark. So the, this top one is white. That's like the lightest value. So that, we don't even do anything with that one. On the bottom, we go as dark as possible. So you want to, I would rec recommend you go around the edge first. I'm getting like oil pastel on my, eh, whatever. Okay, so you want to go as dark as you can get with that pencil. Now, believe it or not, this is not a black. <laughs> I get, can get, it's, it's dark, but this is the darkest we can get with a number two pencil, right? But it's definitely not a black. But that's okay. Like, we're making a value, um, like a five value chart from our pencil, right? Okay. So let's see, that's going to be white. So then we, then we want to go, we want to go medium. So we want to skip this one and go to medium. So this medium is going to be in between the darkest value and the lightest value. So just think of it like a gray. Now I recommend that you don't go super dark at first because you can always make this darker. If you make this too dark, it's hard to make it light again. Reminds me of that Bible verse. It's like, uh, if your eyes are, are in darkness, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to totally misquote it. I don't know. It was something to the effect of, like, if all you can see is darkness, then you're really corrupt. <laughs> that, was, that was a terrible paraphrase. Okay, so now, between this value and this value, it's going to be darker than this, but lighter than this. So like I could even start by just trying to go a little darker than this. So I'm going to go a little darker. Actually, that's pretty good. Ooh. See, it's very similar to that one. So I'm going to make this one a little darker, but not as not as dark as that. There. That's pretty good. And you can see it. That's kind of hard to do. So I should have probably gone a little lighter for my medium value. Like, I, I guess I, I didn't, you know, I thought that was the right value. But if I was a little lighter here, I wouldn't have had to. This is very close, but okay. Now I want to go lighter than this. So I'm going to start real light and then just build it up. Let's see. Actually, that's pretty good. Wow, that's it. There. I don't want to go darker than that. Boy. Okay. Sometimes you can make things darker, but you can't, you, it's hard to make your darkest darker, but that's pretty good. So we can see, you can see the five values, light, this is a uh, medium gray, black, even though it's not a true black, you know, so one, two, three, four, five values. Normally there's nine values, but it's hard to achieve that with a number two pencil. I mean, I, I guess anything's possible, but they have darker, you know, we, pastels and things we can do, but so you want to do this, the five values. Um, in art school, you'll probably do nines. I can't even remember when I did them in art school. I'm just trying to remember how difficult they were. Maybe they weren't so bad. It was kind of the same thing, except there was just there was two more on each side. Okay. Well, anyways, there's that. So now we want to draw our pencil. And we want to draw it large. Well, you know what? Maybe we don't want to draw it too large because, oh my gosh, that would be a lot of shading. But let's draw it at least, at least this big. So let me show you. I'm going to... Whoa, focus. I'm going to show you. So we're just going to we're just going to draw like this part. That part. It's going to be big. But I don't know. We don't and let's put it at an angle. I'm drawing lightly first, right? And then this is just a triangle. Oh. See if you draw lightly, I don't have oh, I I forgot to get an eraser. Here we go. Um, I forget what these are called, but these like these work really well. I forget. You probably, if you don't have one, you can use your. The, these don't have erasers, but any kind of good eraser will work. Okay, 
So that's it. So I mean, we basically just want to draw that. It's not, it's not too huge, but not too small either. Now I want to try to carefully, I want to look, the tricky part is now you want to look really close. I can't, I can't really hold this up. I mean, I guess I could, I could do something like this, but you want to get the, you want to get the top part. That's going to be, you can tell like right away, you're like, oh, that's why Mr. Smith picked this. Oh, come on, go into focus. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. Well, you can, s come on. <laughs> Can't get it to focus. But you can see there's a light value on top, uh, kind of a medium value, and then a dark value underneath. That's, and then this is, and then they're kind of like steps, kind of like our value chart. Oh, come on, focus, I'm so mad. But then this part of the pencil, it's smooth. It's like a smooth blending, right? That's why I picked it. That's why I picked it. Okay, here we go. But the tricky part is trying to draw that, those three lines. Well, let's just, let's keep it, oh, focus, dude. Let's just do it simply. We're gonna go like this. I'm just gonna draw a line here. And then I'm gonna draw a line here, right? We're not gonna worry about the tilted perspective of that. And then you'll notice that it kind of it kind of goes like this, right? Kind of like that. And then the lead, you know, the lead is kind of here. Do it, do it kind of like this. Do it like um. Don't do it like a perfectly round thing. If you look real carefully at your lead, you'll notice that it's like. Remember, we're like zooming in on that detail, right? So it's kind of like that. Okay. We'll tighten this up. It's kind of rounded here. Okay, now, another thing you'll notice that there's a shadow. Well, maybe it depends on the light you have in your um, room or wherever you're doing it, but there's a, we want to have a shadow here. So where does where's the shadow go? Well, it's, it's, it, okay, so it's partially, it's going to be like this, partially here. Let's see, does it go beyond it? Actually, it's right here. It starts... It actually starts curving here, so I kind of failed there. So it's gonna it's gonna curve. It's gonna be right about here. And then this part goes up. Like you can imagine, it kind of goes back here. Do this lightly because we got to shade that right. Like see how I got that little I got that little dot there. I did that to show you where we wanted to like like I'm gonna erase that a little bit. It starts to, I have another dot there, funny. Okay, there. So that's really the drawing. That's the drawing. So now we wanna do shading. Okay, well we know, now, there's a highlight on this on this um, lead. I'm looking very closely, so let's start, let's draw the highlight. The highlight's probably gonna be like right about here. So we don't wanna go now it's darker, it's not a pure white. I'm looking, now my, mine's super tiny. On your table, look at your other pencil lead and you'll see that the light value, it's probably like the darkest it goes, it's like the darkest. And that would probably be like right here. But then it kind of gets a little, like as it get, approaches that highlight, it gets a little lighter. So, so you can kind of shade it, you can go a little lighter but then it goes dark again. Okay, now that looks like a super shiny highlight. It's not that bright. It's probably this. It's probably our number two value. So let's just go like that. Yeah. Okay, then I want this to be a little darker. You can't even see what I'm doing. And then, so this is like this value. And then right above it is this value. But then I, it may be a little bit of that, but it really, but this is the highlight. The highlight is number two. There's no white in that. Okay. Now let's see. There's not much, there's now, there's not much of a, a line here. So this should be light. So keep this line light, but this one gets a little darker. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of shade here a little bit. So let's see. Now what happens is, is when your pencil gets duller, the tip gets broader and it's easier to shade. So what you can do is, I don't have, a, I guess I have a test paper. You could do something like this. You could just kind of like shade and then you'll notice that you're getting that, 
you can barely see it. It's like a wider tip, and then then it'll enable you to get a a broader shading uh, side of your pencil. Now, don't turn it because then you'll get a then you'll get that fine point again. That could help you. Okay. Anyways, mine is just naturally. The more you use it, the more it. Uh, what am I trying to say? The more it uh, it gets broader like that. Now it looks like this highlight it kind of goes kind of to the middle of the pencil. So like we're gonna go light. This let's do this value first. It doesn't get much darker. Well, okay. And then okay. Now let's leave it for now. But you know that we're gonna want to get a little darker here, but not too much darker. This, you can kind of see it, this, well, it's, it's not as dark as this. Okay, so what value is that? <sighs> to be honest, it kind of looks like, well, it's, it's like, you know, it's kind of like this. It's a little lighter than this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that. Okay, well, let's do, let's see. Let's do this one first. This one's the darkest, so this is probably the medium value. Let's see. If your val values are like slightly off, don't worry about it. And it's better to go lighter and then go darker later. Like try not to go too dark to begin with, except for the pencil lead, like we knew, right? It's easier to go darker than it is to go, like you can't really erase this. Like, oh, I went too dark and I'm just going to erase it. Oh, that doesn't work very well. It, it's difficult. So that is kind of like this value. I might have gone a little too dark. I should have listened to myself and not make it. Uh... So then this one, let's go to this value. But I think we might want, yeah, let's try it. We might, okay. So I don't want to go too dark. Almost the same as this. Uh... Okay, and then this top value has a little bit, but not much, like barely any, barely any. Okay, now, okay, and then this value, the shadow, it's actually not that dark. If you, you know, my, <laughs> I can't show you, but if you close one eye and look at this, when you, because normally when you look, you have stereoscopic vision you see in 3D, and I know it's probably not going to make that big of a deal, but when you close one eye and look at this pencil, um, you don't have the 3D vision as much, and it kind of flattens out what you're looking at, and you can kind of, it helps you kind of see a little better. So I'm closing my left eye. <laughs> you're like, I'm not going to do that, Mr. Smith. Okay, fine, I don't care. But I'm closing my left eye, and it helps me kind of see the... Um, it flattens out what I'm looking at a little bit, not that much. You're like, not really, Mr. Smith. Ah, trust me. Um, this shadow is not as dark as, as this... It's not as dark as the bottom of that pencil either. So this isn't super dark. So let's make it this value though. It's not too dark. We're, we're gonna darken things up. The problem is it's starting to blend in with the bottom of my pencil. It's like, ugh. It's okay. That's actually good. You know, there's no, like in, in like when you draw, when, when you do a, when you look in reality, there's no like outlines like you don't draw the pencil like these lines because we drew lightly hopefully you drew lightly they're starting to like disappear and that's good because there aren't there aren't lines like <laughs> surrounding objects in real life that's a drawing convention right okay so that's that's pretty good okay so now now we want to start darkening and blending things a little bit the first thing we want to do is this is kind of like our number two value, but we want to blend it. We almost, if we had nine values, we want to get the value in between this and in between white. So we want to barely, barely blend it. Like there, let's see, barely, I think I got it. Just barely do it. So it kind of blends into the white. I think I did it. So barely though, barely. You might need a little bit more. That's okay. I don't care. Now, on the bottom of the pencil, it gets a little darker. So here we go. We're going to go like this. 
but not too don't don't go too dark yet. So here we go. We're going to go here. It's going to be a little darker than your shadow. But not too dark. Not as dark as that. Like, oh, well, that's hard. I know. Okay. And then I'm going to try to blend it into that next value very carefully. Let's see here. Try not to leave. See how I had little little white spots in there? Okay, I'm going to try that. Uh, I think I failed. Let's see. So don't worry. Remember, this is practice. If you don't get it perfectly, don't worry about it. You can see even me, I'm... Well, I got a camera in front of my face right here, uh, but it's, we're learning. So don't worry if it's not perfect. Remember you want to, the goal, the, what I really want you is to try. Like if you just kind of scribble it in, no, that no way. Um, but if you just very carefully, um, if you try and go lightly, like I'm telling you, and just, you know, slowly build it up, you'll be able to make an incredible shaded pencil drawing, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I want that to be darker yet. I'm going to leave it because I want to I want to darken some of my other values a little bit and then I'll maybe come back and see. So what you do is if you darken something and then something else has to be a little darker, um, you know, so we're going to just experiment. Although this is bugging me, this little, uh, I'm going to erase that. Okay. Now, notice how it doesn't... You can kind of see this pencil line here. I want this value to come to that edge. So let me see if I can shade that a little better. You know, maybe I'll make this just a little darker. There. That looks a little nicer because I don't see that fake pencil line. There would be no pencil lines. Uh oh, I'm going darker. I'm making it a little darker here. Now, the question is, can you blend it with your finger? You can, but don't do it too much. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. Notice how I got this little dark spot here. Oops. Let me see if I can blend this. You should be able to. Don't use all your fingers because then you'll just get smudges all over. I'm just going to try to use this finger, my pointer finger. Eh. It does blend a little bit. Don't. Don't depend. Sometimes, um, I'm not saying you never blend, but sometimes it's a crutch. Sometimes people, like students, they'll blend it so much that everything just gets kind of smeary. It's okay, like, these pencil lines, it's, it's not the end of the world to have those. In fact, they give it a little bit of grit. They give it a little bit of texture. It's kind of okay. And remember, if you're looking at this far away, your mind kind of blurs these little lines. I do want to blend this on the edge a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> and then I can erase. Don't don't go crazy. But if you went too far with your blending, I don't know. Okay, whatever. There it is. I want this to be a little darker, but not too much darker. Let's see. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Failed. Okay. I want this to be a little darker, so here we go. But not much darker. I want I want this pencil line to blend in with my value. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, it's okay. Actually, it looks good on the camera. In real life, it's like, like I said, don't worry if if it's not perfect. I just want this to be a little darker. Now, sometimes there's a little bit of a um. Let's leave a little bit of a highlight in here. Highlight, not not white, but let's like not go all the way to the edge. Let's kind of go like right here. So it kind of looks like there's a, like a worn, a, there you can kind of see, you can see it in the camera. That's good. Okay, so let's just, I might have to blend this with my finger. Now I kind of got like a dark edge there. So I'm gonna kind of blend this back into this value. So I'm gonna kind of just kind of go down and kind of blend that down. Does that look good? I don't know. Not really. I'm trying to blend it gradually. Sometimes it just takes time. Okay. I'm going to try to blend with my finger a little bit.
Sometimes when you blend it, you lose your dark value, and so then you have to add it again. Uh, for kicks, I'm going to make this a little darker right on this edge. I looked at, see, the way I'm looking at my pencil, um, <laughs> it's a little different. My table is white, and so I kind of I kind of looked underneath, and it's actually lighter under here because the white, hello, focus, focus. Okay. It's actually lighter here, um, but I didn't see that until I totally peeked underneath. Um, so what we can do is we can make this a little darker, but then not go all the way to the bottom. Um, and what that is, that's reflect that's reflected light. Now my table is white. Here, so I'll show you. I'm going to make this a little darker, but not go down all the way. And I'm going to make this just a little darker here. So if you're careful and the more nuanced we shade, we're actually kind of going in between our values, but that's okay. I just didn't want you to do nine values. It's, it's tricky, especially for practice. Okay. There. And then, and then maybe I can just blend this with my pencil. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's just a simple pencil drawing, but it has the different values and that's what makes it interesting. Now, before you finish, um, you wanna double check some things about your pencil. First, the bottom edge here should be a little darker than your shadow. Mine is barely darker and that's pretty good. If you need to check, make it a little darker. Do it lightly. That's pretty good. Another thing you can do is it's kind of funky to have a line here, right? So you can't, I don't, I don't recommend you erase it, but what you can do is maybe you can blend super carefully, blend this value into the white or whatever it is. So watch, I'm going to go bare. That might look a little better. It might not look just like a pencil line. It looks like it's a little bit of a shadow. Now I'm looking at my pencil. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have that shadow there, but I am hyper analyzing it and I'm imp I'm kind of adding it. So that doesn't look like a pencil line. This thing is in reality. It doesn't have a line there, but if I shade it, it looks more like a shadow going around the tip of the pencil instead of just a pencil line. Um, I'm So I guess I'm kind of cheating it a little but not really and same here like I don't like this now I could try to erase it but it's hard it's almost better not to erase it because that let me try it I mean you can maybe do it a little the problem is that just ruins everything I, I don't recommend that's kind of a, a trap um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to blend the dark value of that pencil line into this other so let's see if I can do it I'm barely though just barely, just barely, barely, like barely nothing. Oh, oh, I did too much. Okay, so I'm going to barely do it. Um, is it better? Uh, maybe. I'm barely, I'm barely doing it. Maybe I can blend with my finger a little bit. Yeah. But then this needs to be a little, see the see how it's a slippery slope? Slippery slope means you keep getting more into trouble. Actually, they use it for, uh, for arguments, philosophical arguments. Like if one thing is true, then th that must be true. And you kind of fall down this rabbit hole. But anyways, okay, so there it is. See, I did that a little too much. But whatever. But there, I kind of got rid of my... I got rid of my pencil lines, like I kind of shaded them into the drawing a little bit. So not bad. But you can go back and kind of look like, does this need to be a little darker? I think that's okay. Um, this looks pretty good. You don't want this, this stuff to be too dark. That's it. So hopefully that worked out. If not, don't worry about it. It was practice. It was fun. But you definitely want to put your name on the back of your paper um, and then put the class you're in too. So like, I'll, you know, I'd put, you know, you put your first name. And then put, if you're in Corver, you'll put a K, put a circle around it. If you're in, uh, you know, Vanderduce and VD, circle it, right? And then if you're in the other classes, Vanderkirk, and you just want to do it, you want to get a dum-dum, great. Take good care of this. Bring it to school. And then when I see you in class, like, not just, don't just find me when I'm walking around. I can't, but in class, I'll give you a dum-dum. If you're a remote-only student, um, do you get a dum-dum? <laughs> 
Not really. Maybe. Hold on to your paper. If you ever do come back to school, I'll give you one. Just This is like your ticket. When I collect it, I'll give you a dum-dum, okay? So um, maybe if I see you again or whatever, I don't know. Maybe if we do the art show, bring it on the art show and I'll, I'll have my bag of dum-dums and I'll turn it in and I'll, I'll give it to you or whatever. I don't know. So, but that's it. So hopefully that was interesting. Um, it wasn't super hard. Remember, this was practice. Um, but you can see that shading can be a lot of fun. Shading is looking at these values. Um, there's probably, there's, there's a million YouTube videos about shading and doing values. I did them last year when we were in remote learning and they were really good videos. Like we did lips and well, that was fifth grade. So you're probably in, no, this is sixth grade. So yeah, you probably did the lips and then other classes, they did different things. Like we did different things. And those YouTube videos, oh, someone did an eye. Like last year, the sixth graders did an eye. So there's a lot of real interesting videos that are probably better than what I just showed you. But I wanted to do something kind of simple and interesting. Um, if you are interested in this stuff, of course, you can always look on YouTube. And there's people that spend much more time and are much more careful and probably have better, um, better pencils than these number twos. Number twos, you can do okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, look at my pencil lead. That's pretty sweet. So, I mean, it just takes time to make these things perfect. So, but there's lots of edu uh, information out there, art, art YouTube videos that are pretty sweet. So anyways, I hope you had fun and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll get to see you in school. Don't forget, bring this to school and I'll give you a dum-dum. Put your name on the back, right? And I'll collect them. So that's it. So have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.